Good day and welcome to the next installment on the Super Data Science YouTube channel. Today we are building some more custom charts. Well, today is actually about all about time, all about clocks. So we will be building and looking at how to depict our workday into the duration clock, as you can see as an example over here. So you would probably find a couple of different um, applications of this as well. You can use it for duration or you can do it to break down a day or for so forth. But we would, for instance, today look at our workday. So if we start, if we look at the data, I've just created a very simple Excel spreadsheet over here. And remember, as always, this data is available on the Super Data Science website in the link below. So as you can see, we've basically got two columns. Firstly, the activity. So board meeting, conference call, lunch, performance meeting, and then um, a little blank over there to sum up to the 20, well, to the 12 hours of our, our day. And then also a duration with each of the hours assigned as such. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it by starting off with a fresh copy of Tableau. And we would be connecting to our Excel file. It's the Workday file, pretty straightforward. So you can see all the activities have been pulled through as well as the actual durations as a number. Going into the actual uh, sheet, the first sheet, we need to create a uh, calculated field. And this is to position it properly on the, on the graph. So it's a straightforward, it's just calling it position, giving it a value of one and hitting apply. Now we'll take that newly created field and we'll put it twice into the row shelf. And let's firstly change that to average. And let's do the same. We can actually just make a copy of it next to itself into, or still even the rows shelf. The next uh, we will do is to make sure that this is a dual axis. So to, putting, put, to put them next to each other as, as such. And then we need to change each of the individual um, graphs because now we've got two graphs that were created. Now, the first one is actually a pie chart. And for the pie chart, we need to add a couple of different things. We need to use the duration field on the angle as we need to break it down, as well as use activity to depict the color. Now, um, it's showing it as gray, so we'll just move it around to be able to show the graph because the other one was in front of the other. So for now, we can able, be able to see the differences in there. Let's actually just go and change the size. I'm gonna go back to the overall uh, graph and all the settings for the overall graph. Just make this a little bit bigger. And we can actually change this also to the entire view and use the whole space that we've got. Uh, so let's just make this a bit bigger. There we go, that looks great. All right, so we need to basically um, firstly change the colors as well. So um, blank, we obviously want to have as a white. So we'll just double click and change this to white. And next, um, let's remove all of these lines as well, actually. So we can um, firstly make sure we synchronize the axis. Okay, before we hide these, let's quickly go show header, untick. Same with the other side, show header, untick. Uh, we'll just remove our title there as well. We don't need to see that. And then just right click format. And once again, remove all of the lines that we don't need to see because we just want a clean chart in the end of the day. All right, so let's just go none. And the same for the actual lines, <clears throat> making sure it's applicable to the sheet and they are all gone. Okay, and one more. Let's just quickly have a look. Um, it seems that they haven't all disappeared. There's one more and we can just tick none and make sure all of them are gone. There's always that last one that is not, <laughs> that doesn't want to disappear. So let's just quick, click format once again and make sure that everything is gone from all of the lines. There we found it. Okay, and just click none. So just search for it until you find it if it does, but normally it should disappear all of them together. So this is our work day. So if you imagine this to be a clock, um, you know what, actually, it's, let's put the, the clock in first. So we've done the, um, the pie now and we can see each well part of the 12 hour day. Um, but we also have the second graph, which is underneath this one and hidden a little bit. Now for that, we'll change this to a shapes um, graph and we'll just use a custom shape. Now, before I get there, you'll see that there's a more shapes option. And let me quickly show you what I've done. Um, so from Google, you can just do a quick Google search. Um, let me see what I searched for. I just searched for clock image. And you find clock faces such as these and, and you can save them. And then you save them to your Tableau repository. And yeah, uh, in essence, 
if you just go to your Tableau, Tableau repository, you can create um, actual, uh, let's just jump into Tableau quickly. Um, in the images folder, you can put a custom, make your own um, custom folder and put images in there. So you can see I've saved the clock face over there. Um, by the way, sometimes you just need to hit reload shapes to make sure it actually refreshes. refreshes. And you can just use that clock face and say, okay. Now I'll just swap these two around again to be able to see the clock phase. And as you can see, there it is. So we obviously want to show the duration on, on top of it. So for that, we'll just drag it back because we want that over there. And the way to change this is just to change the um, color opacity. And we'll go to the pie chart again. And let's move this down to around 30%. And there we go. Now you can see our day is neatly broken up into, into different slots. So what I think works quite well is to actually increase the size a little bit so it goes around and it gives a, a better idea of um, the, the makeup of the clock. Um, but at the same time, we could also swap these two around and just show on the outside what our time looks like. So it's up to you. We will start off with this first and quickly fix our, our days, as in our hours of the day, I mean. Um, so firstly, what we need to ensure is that our lunch is properly assigned to be between 12 and 1, um, and also that the blank part is the non part of the working day because this is only the working day. And for that, we'll play around with the order um, of these activities and how they are shown in the graph. And the actual order that works well is if we move lunch to the top, then it puts it, puts it between 12 and 1. And then obviously after lunch, we've got the board meeting. So we'll move board meeting. And after the board, board meeting, we still have a conference call. So obviously counting from 12 onwards down. And then we put the blank because um, that's the end of our working day. And the actual start is at 8 o'clock and that's the performance meeting there over there. All right. So that is how we show the duration. So we could, what else can we do to make this look, uh, look a bit better is to obviously put the activity into label as well as the actual duration into label. And we'll just quickly fix the format while we're here and make sure that in the pane, yes, that's correct. We just want to see it to one decimal, all right? And we can just edit the label firstly um, by changing the color. So we want to use the same color as the color of the, the slice. And by that, you can just use match color mark. And we can just change it to 10 as well, a little bit bigger. And let us quickly, jump. sorry, let's just jump in there again. We'll make activity a bold and we'll just move this, uh, oh, sorry, put this around brackets, all this in brackets. Put a little H there for hour next to it and hit apply. We can just do a quick preview and see if it looks fine. And there we go. That is our breakdown of the day. Very nice way to depict this. Um, other, you know, the makeup of your day or even just the duration. And you can use it for hours and obviously for minutes as well as it uses the same clock face, um, even seconds or whatever the case is. Just be, be sure to name this properly. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also swap these around and it only shows the part at the back and let's just increase the size a little bit and that looks great. So now you can properly see what part of the day is actually um, assigned to what task. Now this was a quite an easy and nice one to use. I think this works well in certain cases, maybe not all, but it is one way to make your dashboard very, very appealing. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, remember to um, give us your comments below. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them as well. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, enjoy practicing this one. And until we meet again.